Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we got another day. More VC-only special offers in NBA 2K24, my team. This is a weekly thing on Mondays that they've been dropping these VC-only players. And uh, not only are they just dropping VC-only players, the VC-only players they're dropping are not like the most desirable, exciting ones. So like, I'm going to sit here and be completely honest with y'all. I see no reason whatsoever why you would buy today's offers. Not even for an anti-gambling stance. Like, obviously, I don't think we should be gambling and spending our money on the game. But in general, Dark Matter Anthony Davis and Galaxy Opal Jason Tatum for VC, are these cards worth it? No, they're not. And I'm going to explain exactly why here in this video. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20, sorry 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. We'd really appreciate it if you'll do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So... Anthony Davis and Jason Tatum. Like, Jason Tatum, first of all, 35,000 VC. I understand that's only like, what, 10 bucks? I say only 10 bucks. You can use 10 bucks better than buying Galaxy Opal Jason Tatum at this point of the year. I guarantee you that. Uh, yeah, it is 10 bucks. So, Jason Tatum at small forward. Like, the thing is, yes, I have gambling small forwards that I've actually gotten really lucky and pulled without gambling in the last two weeks. Y'all have seen them in my pack openings. I also got Dark Matter Jason Tatum for free out of a playoffs deluxe pack that I got as a reward. So, as you can see, he's unsellable. Uh, um, but the small forward position has some solid free cards at it. Not to mention the fact that there are a bunch of guys that you can get as well that are super solid options that are like, like the new brand new Dorian Finney-Smith just came out that's buyable from the player market right now. Buyable, and he's better than Jason Tatum is. Dark Matter Jerry Dishinger from last season was free, better than Jason Tatum is. Um, Galaxy Opal Pacer Stoyakovich from last season, free, better than Jason Tatum is. Not to mention, I'm sure, a bunch of other cards that I'm not thinking of right now um, that can play the small forward position at a high level. And I don't think a guy like Jason Tatum obviously is worth buying. Like I just, there's no point in spending on an outdated ish Opal who doesn't really have SIGs and definitely doesn't have a fade. He doesn't have a fade at all. And his movement isn't great. He doesn't have elite level size at the three. Like the card is just not phenomenal. Not only that, um, you can get like really good free small forwards like Luol Deng and Jonathan Isaac are in the unlimited option pack. Um, there's a locker code dropping today in the Celtics Pacer game. There's going to be a locker code dropping tonight that's going to, I'm sure, be another good locker code because all the locker codes they've been dropping recently have been good. And it's Celtics Pacers. They could literally, I could see them dropping an Opal Jason Tatum locker code tonight as he's like in an option pack or something with Celtics Pacers players. Like I, I do not at all think that this Tatum is even in the slightest worth buying. Now, and I'm not even trying to look at this from a gambling perspective right now. I'm just looking at it from a logical, should you spend your money on this? Is, is there any value in it? Um, 20000 or sorry, $20 for Anthony Davis for 75000 VC. Is that worth $22 or whatever after tax? No. The reason that the answer is no is because, number one, free Dikembe Mutombo from last season. If you got him, way, way better than Anthony Davis. Number two, Artis Gilmore, viable center, really, really good. Also much better at the center position than Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis isn't really a center. He's more of a power forward. But when you think about power forwards, another viable card just came out. Mo Bamba, definitely better than Anthony Davis. Better SIGs, better release, better size. Overall, better card than Anthony Davis across the board. Uh, better stats and batters. Like, as a whole, this card, I think, at this point in the year is better. Anthony Davis is a great card, yes, but his release is not exceptional. His SIGs aren't top tier. He's only six foot ten. doesn't have an unbelievable player build. Uh, Bill Russell's free from last season. He's just as good, if not better. I think he's probably better than Dark Matter Anthony Davis. I was ranking him above Dark Matter AD on my rankings last season. I think he's better than Dark Matter Anthony Davis. And then you have a guy like Tyson Chandler. Uh, also a free card better I think than Anthony Davis if not better as good you know what I mean it's bigger for sure as good defensively if not better elite rebounder has great speed can put the ball on the floor a bit like there's a lot of value in a lot of ways to these cards and like I just think a guy like Anthony again there's so many alternatives to these guys that you can get for free or with your MT that are as good or better than the guys that they dropped in the player market today or that they dropped in the pack market today for VC it's like I, they, honestly, okay, this is my thought. This is not I, in line with the non-gambling philosophy, but if you are looking at it, if I'm I'm trying to look at it from 2K's perspective, what does 2K lose in offering a Dark Matter Bull Bull, for example, for VC? Like, if you're really trying to maximize the amount of money that you can squeeze out of your customer base, why would you not make the VC players a little bit more desirable? Because, like, Scottie Pippen and Anthony Davis, the ones they've dropped the last two weeks, are big names who are good cards. But they are not on the same level as cards at all, I don't think, 
to like the best of the best dark matters that have been dropping and i mean you can go look in these i mean the playoffs from packs don't show all the dark matters but they show some of them and i mean just in this you see there are some really good desirable dark matters they could be dropping that i think people would buy like for example a bull bull or a chris des porzingis or a jonathan isaac or a paul george uh or those types of guys and yes paul george is a motor this week and all that type of stuff but i just think there are bigger names that they have dropped in some of these pack drops that they could be dropping to make more money and it like almost I'm a little surprised they're not because I obviously think y'all shouldn't be spending money and I'm not spending money on this game, period. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even, I haven't even bought the Pro Pass this season. At this point, I'm not sure I'm going to buy the Pro Pass this season. Like, I'm thinking I may just not even buy that because I'm not really playing the game that much. I played a bit last week and I've played like two games so far this week, I think. I haven't done much though. And it's just, I don't know. Like, the way the game is, I, I see no reason, even outside of an anti-gambling stance that anybody would actually want to buy these like i don't see the value in this I, it's just the players are not are not special they're not elite they're not like anthony davis came out the same week he's vortex he came out the same week as a mecca okafor who is better than him not only is a mecca okafor in my opinion a better overall card when he's bad as the ad you can get a mecca okafor again not for free although actually you do have a chance to get him for free at level 37 off the wheel spin but as the uh premium the pro pass reward the option pack you can pick a mecca okafor out of that if you want like again dr j's in that he's better than jason tatum is at the three and, and dr j can play the two or the three he's got better positional versatility as well like in general there's just so many reasons looking at both of these special offers why there's like no reason at all to open them i, I truly am sitting here like why would anybody do this i don't know what do y'all what do y'all think i truly kind of want to know like what do y'all think uh, I, I, do y'all think i'm tripping here saying that this is a terrible terrible value like i don't know i i, it, I want, honestly want y'all to be honest have y'all been buying these special offers like scotty pippen last week did y'all buy him anthony davis this week are y'all gonna buy this card like outside of my judgment of me thinking that you shouldn't i just want to know if people are doing it because like to me it doesn't really make a lot of sense i feel like i could use 20 dollars better I can go on Amazon and buy something for 20 bucks that is going to be cooler and have provide more value to my life than Anthony Davis, not to mention just financial responsibility. I don't know. Regardless. At the end of the day, 2K is a pretty garbage company in a lot of ways, and they have proven as much, very much so this year, and expecting that to change is kind of irrational, so I kind of just sit here in confusion sometimes and watch what they do, and this is another day of more so confusion than outrage. I'm not outraged. I'm not mad, really. I'm just kind of like not really sure what we're doing hopefully the locker code will be good hopefully the spark cards they drop tomorrow will be good all that stuff i will cover later on today but i hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace